Assalamu alaikum, peace and blessings unto all of my beautiful sisters. I am your sister, Latina, Muslim and proud, and welcome to story time. One tip I will let you know is try to have patience with your children. If this is not something that you do often, they might be a little bit, you know, hyperactive. They might not be listening. But once you do this on a daily, they start enjoying the stories. So the first book that we have is actually an iBook. It's all about akhlaq. Okay. A fun way to learn and practice moral values and good manners in Islam. And joining us is Zaki the bear. Zaki is a great toy bear that you can gift any of your Muslim friend or family members. They have amazing songs. Our Zaki bear is running out of batteries. And it's mine. And it's Yusuf. He got that two Ramadans ago, I think, right? No, like in the, it was in the hospital. Yeah, that was Eid when your dad was in the hospital, remember? So two Eids ago. Oh, yeah, even it does this. The pumpkin? It has, oh. and you can open this, and then you can put the battery. I'll actually leave the little link up here where you can see a review of it. See? So let's get started, guys, right? right you want to get started? You can turn it on like this. Mm-hmm. Once you put new batteries. I need new batteries. We do have them. Don't worry. We'll do it. We have a lot of them. Okay, okay, so let's see if we can do more than two stories. If not, we'll just stick with one. All about akhlaq. Fun way to learn and practice moral values and good manners in Islam. The teacher. Assalamu alaikum, students. The students say, Walaikum assalam, ma'am. From today, we're going to learn A to Z of akhlaq. These are very important in Islam. Akhlaq helps us stay on the Sirat al-Mustaqim. Who can tell me what are akhlaq? Samira? Akhlaq means good manners. That is correct. Now give me some examples of good manners. Being helpful like opening a door for someone older? Masha Allah! I know, I know! Giving up your seat for someone older! Very good, Aisha! What else do you think are good manners? <laughs> not being rude and not using bad language. Being polite and pleasant. Masha Allah, the Prophet ﷺ said, even to have a smile on your face is charity, and that is good manners. We should behave with good manners every day to please Allah. How do others feel about a person who is helpful, polite, pleasant, and has a smile? Everybody likes such person and wants to be his or her friend. You are absolutely right. And the Prophet ﷺ said, The best amongst you is the one who has the best manners. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you do them all. <laughs> and the teacher says, All right. Now, you have some idea about what good manners are. Inshallah, we will study some more of them in detail. Now let us discuss what Sirat al-Mustaqim is. Sirat means a road, a path, or a way of Mustaqim means straight, proper, or correct. Therefore, if you put them together, what would Sirat al-Mustaqim mean? It would mean a straight path. That is correct, Aisha. Allah and His Prophet wasalam, have shown us what Sirat al-Mustaqim is. Allah has given us the rules for it in the Quran and the Prophet Muhammad wasalam, has shown us by setting an example. What the Prophet said or did is called the Sunnah. 
Inshallah, we'll continue studying about akhlaq and different groups will be doing related skits every day. Okay, so that's the story. Let's say A is for akhlaq. Can we say that? Yeah. A, A is, is for, for akhlaq. akhlaq. That is manners in our deen, right? That is manners in our <laughs> that is manners. That's in, manners in our deen. Okay. That's, and and they, in our um, deen. Mm -hmm. And tell me what the Sirat al Mustaqim is. Answer at the same time. Go. Manners. No, nope, you guys didn't get Straight path. There you go. What? It's to stay on the straight path. So, and then Manners let's remember. Don't go on this path. Okay, so let's say A is for akhlaq, that is manners in our deen. These are important to practice for us to stay on the sirat al mustaqim Now let's remember the Prophet wasallam said, I guarantee the highest place in paradise for one whose akhlaq are excellent. Abu Dawood. So this is a hadith, a very um, known hadith. Do we hadith. have more time to read another one? I don't want to read another one. Mm, your brother doesn't want to. Me and you, Yusuf, can do one if you like. Say what's akhlaq. So alhamdulillah, today we have learned a little bit or we've had a little refresher that akhlaq means peace. The straight pass. <laughs> no, that's sirat al musakim. Akhlaq means oh, manners. manners. There you go. So akhlaq means manners. And this book that we're going to be reading every other day is about akhlaq, which is the manners that Muslims should have. And, you know, we should always try to stay in the sirat al mustaqim in the straight path. And we must be respectful because the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam um, has many sayings that we can make it to paradise if we are excellent in our manners. Okay. Okay. Mm, alhamdulillah. Um, okay, guys. So thank you so much for being in this video. Assalamu alaikum. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Um, Watch the so, videos wait, right the here. Last, um, the last Not thing we, we should do is put the batteries in it so they can see what, what songs they can sing. Okay, let's do Okay, that. you can watch the video right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, then put ba I put batteries now. And now look. look. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Love for others what you love for yourself. Before doing anything good, like eating or drinking, we say Bismillah. What's your favorite food? Pizza. Yes, I know. I know that. As Muslims, we must always obey Allah and follow the way of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Hachu. Alhamdulillah. We must say Alhamdulillah after we sneeze. Achoo.